Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky and today's daily tip is Align Tools. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. So here we are in After Effects and the Align panel is on the right side of After Effects. And if you're not seeing that, just go to Window and make sure the Align is checked. So now let me show you how awesome this thing is. Right now, as you can see, nothing is enabled, but it's because we don't have anything selected. As soon as I select something in my timeline, like text, now I have some options in here. So uh, I have some basic stuff here. So I can say align to the left, align to the right, align to the center on the x-axis, align to the center on the y-axis. I can say align to the top, to the bottom. So you get the idea. But let me show you some other cool stuff. So I'm going to put this back over here. But if you select two of them, right now it says align layers to composition. But if I say selection, I can do some cool stuff. For example, if I say align to the bottom, because I said based on selection, it's going to find the bottom of my selection. So right now the bottom of my selection is this line right here. So if I say to do that here, it drops right to the bottom of my selection. But if I switch that to composition, which is this whole area, now the bottom of my composition is this. So I can say to the bottom of my composition and it'll do that. I can say to the top of my composition and it'll do that. So you get the idea of what this feature does here. By the way, I used the Align tool when I created animations for uh, arenas and stadiums. And this thing came in very handy because I had to do a lot of repetitive stuff. And the Alignment tool was just a lifesaver. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to select these two and do Control D and kind of like uh, spread them out throughout the strip here. So like so. And I'm going to select this one and do Control D and place it at the end over here. So basically I'm starting out with the logo and ending with the logo. And so now if I select all of them, I can do some cool things with it. So now we have these options in here. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to center it on the Y axis. So I'm going to click on this button right here. And then now maybe I can select this logo in here and then just snap it to the left and then snap this one to the right. And maybe I can select this again and then just shift left arrow few times like maybe five and the same thing for this I think it was five what wasn't it I think one more there you go all right so now if I select all of them here's what I can do right now I want to, for all of these basically to have equal amount of gaps between all of them and this is where this thing comes in handy just go over here and just click on this button right here and as you can see it does magic for you and so, yeah, you can definitely see how useful this thing is. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.